Hey, what's up, guys? Hardleg Joe here with the profile for my level 9 shenanigans deck. For our monster lineup, we have three generic protagonists, three generic love interests, three Marmaduke, one Nightmare Idly, three Skill Drain on legs, er, uh, tentacles, I guess, one Forbidden Pot, three Twin Twisters on legs, one Actual World Chalice, three Adorable Bunnies, a Dark Waifu, and three Prediction Princess Tarot Tray. For spells, we have three scenes from the Terminator, three Pre, one Monster Reborn, one Monster Reborn, but for Lynx, three Ritual Spells, three Monstrosities, and one Emergency Telephone. Our extra deck contains one each of the only Psyfrain that matters, not quite Black Rose Dragon, the Holy Waifu, I win, a plane with planes on it, number 92, Heart Dash Earth Dragon, Super Saiyan Blue Avram, the God of Destruction, a Unicorn Phoenix and Cerberus with Nightmares, two Link Arrows on a stick, the Little Mermaid, a spider, and a good little pupper. The side deck I'll go over in a little bit. So this deck is kind of a weird one. It's a level 9 toolbox made to take full advantage of this card, World Legacy Monstrosity. This is a quick play spell with two effects. You can either special summon a level 9 monster from your hand, simple, or target a level 9 on your field and special summon two other level 9s from the deck that have different types and attributes. Those monsters can't attack and they're destroyed during the end phase, but as you'll see, that really doesn't matter. Using this, you can get three level 9s on the field, which will allow you to make a whole bunch of powerful boss monsters. Namely, True King of All Calamities, Phantom Fortress German name, and World Gears of Theriological Demiurgy. Calamities can detach during either player's turn to essentially mystic mind the opponent for a turn. Fortress can detach to non-targeting banish a card from the hand, field, graveyard, or deck. And Mr. I've Got a Ridiculously Long Name can nuke the field once per turn and is unaffected by other monsters' effects. You can also make other rank 9s like Heart Earth Dragon or Dyson Sphere if you really want to, but nothing really compares to the power of these two. Uh, likewise, you can use your three level 9s to make other links, but it doesn't really get much better than Demigod over here, whose summoning condition is specifically suited to this deck. So that's what you'll want to end on, but how do you get there? Well, in order to use this, you first need to summon a level 9 monster, and there's two ways you're probably going to do that. Either A, you ritual summon Miss Cleo over here, who is a level 9 if you didn't notice, or B, you do a complicated nightmare combo. Okay, so here's how it works. First, you need to get any two monsters on the field with different names. Link Slayer can special summon himself if you control no monsters. Unexpected Die gets you either of your two normal monsters. e Telly specifically gets you one of your normal monsters. And Rescue Rabbit can summon two normal monsters with the same name. In the case of Rescue Rabbit, you can use one of your normal monsters to summon Link Spider or M Duke, and that will get you the second name you need. Likewise, if you start with any two normal monsters in your hand, you can normal summon one, turn it into either of these Link 1s, and both will let you summon the other normal monster from your hand. Okay, so however you did it, you got your two monsters. Now you use them to make Nightmare Phoenix or Cerberus, whichever one you like less. Then, you send that to the graveyard to summon Nightmare Mermaid, who's a Link 1 that can be summoned with any one Nightmare card. When this thing is summoned, you can discard a card and summon one Nightmare Monster from your deck. Namely... Ta-da! Nightmare Incarnation Idly, a level 9 dark fairy that you can use monstrosity on. Of course, you won't always have your monstrosity, but fortunately, we have a way to search it using our normal monsters. Eeb, the World Chalice Justicar, is a level 5 synchro that can be summoned without a tuner if you use a World Chalice normal monster. Get out one each of our vanillas using any of the methods I described earlier, and you can summon this girl who, when she's summoned, lets you search a World Legacy card from your deck. If you can make just a car and get another monster on the field, you can use them as material to make a nightmare, and then do your mermaid combo, allowing you to get a level 9 with monstrosity in hand. 
Whew, alright, that's it for the complicated stuff. Everything else in here is pretty straightforward in comparison, so I'm just gonna go down the line. We got some normal monsters, they have attack and defense. Mandark is a level 9 dragon that lowers all your opponent's monsters by 500 for every dragon you control. Which is nice and all, but more importantly, you can summon it from your hand by banishing two normal monsters from the graveyard. And hey, we've got two normal monsters, would you look at that? So you know, if you make your synchro using your normal monsters and you have this in hand, you don't even have to do your nightmare combo, you can just summon this and use the monstrosity you searched on it. Idli, in addition to being a level 9 nightmare, has this really awesome anti-link effect that says, if it is summoned while your opponent controls more link monsters than you do, send all link monsters to the graveyard. Also, if the total link rating on the field is 8 or higher, if your opponent extra links you basically, you could summon this from your hand as a quick effect. I only play one because YGO Pro is the Wild West of Yu-Gi-Oh, and many of the opponents I face don't even have extra decks, but if you know you're playing against links, this can be a great thing to bump up to three, which is why I play two in the side deck. A JC Denton Crawler, meanwhile, is a level 9 flip monster, and if it's flipped face up, it becomes a floodgate that negates all monster effects on your opponent's side of the field. This, along with Pot of the Forbidden, work really well with Tarot Tray. If you're unfamiliar with her, she's got two effects. First, during either player's turn, flip a monster face up or face down. Second, and more importantly, during your end phase, special summon a flip monster from your hand or graveyard in face-down defense position. So if you have this and Tarot Tray, you can use Crawler as the entire tribute. Then during the end phase, this will summon Crawler back out, and you can flip it up, essentially shutting down your opponent's monster effects. Uh, same thing with the big pot over here, it's also level 9. Its effects aren't quite as devastating, but they are a lot more fun. Uh, Link Slayer, in addition to being a level 5 or higher body that we can use to summon Demiurgy, is also our spell trap removal. Nightmare Corruptor Ibli is another nightmare, which means you can use it alone to make your mermaid combo, or summon it off of mermaid if you already got your level 9. Its effect is that you can only special summon Link monsters while it's on the field, but if it's sent to the graveyard, it summons itself to your opponent's side of the field, locking them into Links until they can get rid of it which can be difficult for some decks, especially those ones that, like I said, don't play any extra deck at all. Our final monster in here is the World Chalice. I did mention it before, but if Justicar is sent from the field to the graveyard, she summons a World Chalice monster from the deck or graveyard, which can either get you a free normal monster, or this thing, which can tribute itself during either player's turn to send any extra deck monster to the graveyard. Also, it can banish itself from the grave to search a world legacy card, but not the same turn that it's sent to the graveyard, which is why I don't play Foolish Burial or anything. Uh, speaking of world legacy cards, we do have one alternative to Monstrosity if you don't want to search this with just a car, which is World Legacy Succession, a simple Monster Reborn-like card that lets you revive a monster from the graveyard to a zone a Link monster points to. All that really leaves, then, is the extra deck and the side deck, most of the extra deck is just more toolboxy stuff we can make. Justicar is a tuner, so she, along with any of your normal monsters, can get you a bonus synchro. And we got some generic links and stuff. Feel free to swap these out at your leisure for whatever the hell you feel like. As for the side deck, we play a lot of strong boss monsters that are really vulnerable to kaijus, so I'd actually recommend Anti-Kaiju War Machine as a neat tech. Two more copies of Idli, as I mentioned before, for link decks. Pancratops to replace Link Slayer if your opponent has no spell traps worth destroying. Uh, Destrudo can also replace Slayer or any of your one ofs really if you just want another body on board or a way to quickly make Black Rose Moonlight Dragon. Uh, Savage Dragon is here if you're feeling particularly savage. And Super Poly with several targets. Uh, if you know you're going second into a bunch of negates, this can be really good. Muddy Mud Skipper can be made with pretty much anything your opponent controls. Nice generic choice. First of the Dragons can be a great way to turn your normal monsters into something nigh indestructible. And World Chalice Guard Dragon, all the Marmadukes, is a level 9, hey, that can be made with any three Link monsters, making it additional anti-Link support that also fits into the shenanigans theme. 
Uh, anyway, that's the deck. I hope you enjoyed it. If you'd like to see level 9 shenanigans in action, you can check out the main video. There I'll be playing 10 random duels and showing off how this thing works in real time. Or if you don't have an hour, check out the replay video. Bolts should be on the end card and linked in the description. Regardless of what you do, thanks for watching, and until next time, good luck and have fun.